What is up here is this Minute Zero and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame Main of Blackwater Blind. In the last episode, we completed the seventh drop. We did not, unfortunately, find Hisoko Kurosawa, but we did have a pretty eventful encounter with the Maiden of Blackwater. And in this episode, we're gonna start the eighth drop, where we're gonna play as Ren Hojo and keep watch, apparently, whatever that means. Miyu and Yuri sleep after returning from Mount Hikami. Learning that Hodoka has been taken by a ghost, Ren and Rui keep a watchful eye on the girls to prevent it happening again. Wait, what? Oh, so are we going to be playing like in the office area? In the antique shop? Yeah, Ren and Rui keep a watchful eye on the girls to prevent them from returning to Mount Hikami like Haruka did. Interesting, okay. So this is, I would actually bet that this is, it is going to be kind of like a, a wave of enemies type of level. That's really interesting. All right, let's give it a go. Also, to bother you guys, the the witching hour. Ooh, exciting. I actually really like this visual. It's very neat. Um, and to bother you guys about my TV for the last time, I finally figured out it had like an economy or like an eco uh, setting that was automatically adjusting the brightness and was driving me insane. But we're finally good. <laughs> when Yuri returns from Anikami's summit, she quickly collapses from exhaustion. Meanwhile, Miu is also in an unnaturally deep slender, slumber. Worried that some unwanted visitors may be on their way, Ren and his assistant Rui decide to watch over the girls through the shop's surveillance system. Five Nights at Freddy's beats Fatal Frame? Five Nights at Fatal Frame? <laughs> How is the gameplay going to work in this segment? Sounds like somebody's here. Rui doesn't seem to be doing so hot either. He seems to be unconscious, or maybe just asleep. I wonder what that rumbling was. Something must be happening on the mountain. Yuri and Miu both have been have both been affected by the noise. I should make sure that they're okay. Interesting. Check the surveillance cameras. Haruka Momose, the girl Yuri saved, was led away by the ghost of a girl who killed herself. Something might have come again. I need to check the surveillance camera feeds to see if the girls are okay. I have to check if Yuri and Miu Miu are okay. Okay. The surveillance camera feed will switch between cameras automatically. Okay. Oh, there is my email. Poor timing. <laughs> That's where Haruka was, right? Okay. There's Yuri. A little bit of static. I'm not sure if that means a ghost is coming. You know, kind of like slender or not. There's Miu. Press X to get up. Okay. They both seem to be fine, but I should keep checking on them every now and then just to be sure. They've been acting strange since that ominous rumble. What's happening on Mount Hikami? I should look into the mountain's history. They must have some books about it here. This is such an interesting gameplay segment. I'm not sure how to approach it. I found a book titled Local Customs. It seems to be about the customs in the area around Mount Hikami. Mikomori. In the area around Mount Hikami, there is a custom of receiving water from the mountain. The people call it Mikomori, and it is placed in casks to bring into their homes, used only for special ceremonies. It is used to give a newborn its first bath, or to cleanse the bodies of the dead. This stems from the belief that the soul comes from the water and returns to it in death. Another use for this water is known as the cry of the mountain. According to an old woman in the village, there is a saying, When Hikami lets out a cry, one must wash in Mikomori. 
When Mount Hikami cries out or rumbles, one ritually immerses oneself or otherwise wets oneself with the water. The custom likely comes from the mountain's sound being a bad omen, and they use the pure water as a sort of ward. But when the water dries, your daughters may be gone. Do not go and search when the mountain is awake. This must refer to girls being taken to the mountain after the ward has worn off. An explanation for the number of girls going missing in the area. Let's check the surveillance again. Can I? Doesn't seem like I can. Interesting. So it looks like this will be a little bit more linear, not as Five Nights at Freddy's as I expected. Right? Oh, what? That is definitely not what I expected. A ghost? In my desk? Excuse me? Tales of Photography. It's a book about local folk anecdotes. The Mikomori region has many anecdotes regarding the act of photographing the dead. Many are simple superstitions, but some allow us a glimpse into the customs of another time. These stories show both great understanding and great fear. Vanishing. A man showed a photograph to a friend. The picture showed the faint silhouette of a person. Upon seeing the silhouette, the man cried out and ran, leaving the photo where it was. Each time the man looked at the photo, the silhouette grew more and more distinct. It was his friend. It is said that his friend disappeared after that. The Photo Bride A local fool suddenly declared that he had married. The village threw a celebration, but no one had seen the bride. Someone went to a man's house and could hear the sounds of a woman talking within. However, looking inside, he saw only the man from behind, with no sign of a woman. Days pass, and the man hasn't left his house, so one of the villagers, villagers went to check on him. There was no one in the house, only an old photograph left behind. In the photo was a bride hiding her face, and the missing man was at her side. The man who saw the photo said the bride appeared to be smiling. Ooh, that's eerie. I really need to investigate Mount Hikami and find out what's going on there. I mean, I agree. Let's check that surveillance. So that's Haruka's room. That's the hallway. That's the hallway downstairs to, I think, like a storage room, right? It's the other stairwell. There's Yuri. I'm still not seeing any ghosts. That's Miu. Oh, there's a friend. Let's go say hi. Oh, and I guess actually, before we get into our first encounter, I have no idea. I, I really need to get more familiar with the uh, camera, don't I? Not the camera, the, the map of the area. I was going to say we should probably upgrade this camera because we haven't done much with it. I want to upgrade the loader function of this. I still think that's my favorite um, upgrade for the area. So this is the entrance to the store, right? Yeah, so this is where we want to go. This is where we should meet our friend. Or at the very least, this is where we saw people, or not people really, ghost, walking in. I've got to stay in here and keep checking the camera feeds to make sure the girls are okay. Wait, what? So I'm not supposed to go out and actually meet the ghost here? This is potentially not good. Am I supposed to wait for the ghost to appear in the, the girl's room? This is where Haruka was. I'm probably screwing this up, if I'm honest. But we'll see. This... What is this room again? This is where Yuri is. Yuri's Notebook 1. It seems she's written in it like a diary. When my heart gets weak, I can't even breathe. It takes all my strength just to breathe. All I can do is take the breath and then hope to take another. I grow exhausted and spend all my strength just to live. I am aware of death and I see. People whispering, people with broken faces, people with ruined bodies, people who stare at me from bloody sockets, people crying endlessly, 
All I can do is close my eyes, cover my ears, and wait for the moment to pass. They are always watching me. They say I don't belong here. It should have gotten better. Yeah, I should have gotten better. Dang, that's sad. Alright, well, it seems like Yuri is safe for the time being. We saw that ghost come in, though. Right? So I guess we'll keep heading over this way. Maybe it's like I need to follow the ghost to see which room they go into. And then once they're in a particular room, I have to go to that room to get rid of the ghost or something like that. I'm not really sure. I also would have expected there to be some sort of maybe like icon or meter on the screen that shows me the health of each of them or something like that. The Ghost Marriage. This book was written by the folklorist Keiji Watarai. Maybe it can shed some light. The custom of marrying the dead is seen elsewhere too, but the ghost marriage of Mount Hikami was unique. Rather than being done to mourn the dead, the ghost marriage seems to have been a part of a ritual in which shrine maidens were sacrificed. Similar traditions join the dead with an imaginary spouse depicted in votive pictures. However, on Mount Hikami it seems living men were brought to be bound to the maidens. Once on the mountain, the men were not allowed to leave. The ghost marriage brought in outsiders to soothe the soul of the Shrine Maiden and to strengthen the pillar she had become. Unable to leave the mountain, the Shrine Maidens would wait for a man to come and die with them. Yikes. It's a pretty painting up there. Anything else of interest here? Yeah, again, I'm kind of shocked. Oh, do you hear that? Well, I mean, it's raining both IRL and in the game at the moment. But, um... It sounded almost staticky. Like there was some background noise. Have I already been in here? I have. Wait a minute. That's a little bit concerning. Where is, uh... Where's Miu at? This is where I came up initially, right? So she must be down one of these stairwells, I guess. Or there's a room over here, right? Yeah. Okay, I mean, there's Miu. So, she's safe-ish, I guess? I don't know. There's a book by folklorist Keiji Watarai, Tales of the Sunset. Mount Hikami Sunset, The Rumbling. Maybe there's some clue in here. Mount Hikami's name is thought to mean mountain that climbs higher than the sun. Some posit that it was once written in a way that means mountain of the sun gods, but that is far from certain. What is certain that is... Or what is certain is that many tales about the sunset still persist to this day. People must only climb the morning or climb the mountain as the sun is setting. This likely comes from a local ceremony where those going to the mountain to greet their deaths would go at sunset, when the netherworld was said to be closest to ours. One mustn't look at the mountain at sunset. You must stay inside when the mountain cries. The dark sun was a god of misfortune and calamity. The setting sun over Mount Hikami was said to be an omen of his dark of this dark sun drawing people into their doom. As for the cry, tremors are also often seen as a portent of calamity. On Mount Hikami, it was thought that it was the water rumbling, and it is said that if you could hear it, you were eligible to become a shrine maiden. Other sources say that locals washed in special water when these tremors happened. Hmm. Alright, well, Mew seems to be doing... okay, I guess. It's so interesting learning about all these traditions and all the different phenomena and all the different superstitions and seeing how they're all interconnected. We're slowly unraveling the very interesting paranormal activity going on in this area. So this is that surveillance room.
There's a ghost there. Again, I'm not really sure when I'm actually supposed to go and try to intervene, right? Oh, that's... There's static in the feed from Beauty's room. I'd better go and check it out. Press X to stop watching the feed and get up. If something strange happens on the camera, get up and investigate it. Okay. So Yuri, they're both on the top floor, right? Let's see, which way was Yuri again? I think... Hmm... Is it this way? It wasn't this way. It was definitely on the second floor, right? Yeah... It was not Hisoka's room. It's, well, <laughs> the uh, appropriately named Yuri's room. So we'll go to the left here, and that stairwell should take us in the correct direction. I also am not sure the wording was a little bit nebulous, right? If you see something strange, you should, you should go check up on it. Not necessarily if one of the girls gets attacked, right? So there might be more to see than just monitoring the girls themselves. Oh! Shoot, what's her name again? I don't remember what her name is, but... Oh, I'm on Type 14 film. That's not good. This is awful. Close quarters. Where are you? Down? Up? I don't know. Are you ever going to attack me? Oh, I guess so. So we got a couple hits in there. That was a pretty weak hit, I guess. What the heck? Dang, that was... Intense. Aw, oh, man. I was, like, just a bit too early. You're a little close for my liking, admittedly. You're looking awfully bloody right now, too. We'll collect that spirit power for now, I guess. Not that we really have much use for it. How did I... Why was there a shutter chance? Really? No fatal frame chance there? It's kind of odd. Alright, well. You can take a photograph of the knife itself. Actually, I should probably just do that again. That'll cause more of those to appear. And... Nice. Shutter chance. Where'd you go? Did we get it? Nope. Thought I hit X in time, but alas, here we are. Aw, oh, man. I don't think we took damage from that, did we? I don't know where the ghost is. Am I right? Behind me? I don't know. There you are. And I missed. Lovely, lovely, lovely. At the very least, I can see how much HP she has left now. Alright. Ooh, that was, that was a big boy. That was a strong attack. Where are you at? Fatal frame? What? How is that not a fatal frame? That makes me a little sad. But that's alright. Good shutter chance. Oh, you're dead. Fatal glance, fatal glance. Wait, no, are, are you kidding me? Oh, that makes me want to start over. I'm so disappointed.
Because there was totally a fatal glance to be had. There was like a R2 touch that showed up for a brief second. I don't know if it got like overlapped by the check icon or, or what happened, but... I'm so bummed. I... I like... Oh, man. I'm dying inside right now. It's just like fatal glances, you know the points are not that critical to doing well, right? Like, they're not that essential. They're a nice little bonus, but the scenes they show are so cool, right? They're such a treat. It's frustrating that it's sometimes somewhat finicky to actually get to see them. And then, you know, missing out on having to replay an entire chapter potentially to get them, right? She seems to be having a nightmare, but is otherwise okay. Oh, man in a hallway, aptly named. Is that the building next door? Or is that the same building? Hmm. Alright, well. Try to move on. Completion ascendi your tendencies, FOMO. Trying to suppress them in the meantime. Alright, continue surveillance. That's something we do from the first floor so we'll head on down and I also noticed I didn't ever actually check out that door I think behind yeah exactly the stairwell okay so the back door is locked good to know and then did I explore this door over here this leads to the bathroom okay now I know I don't think it was that room it was this one on the right, I believe. Was that all the n number of books there was? Alright, let's see. What else can we find while surveilling? Miu seems to be doing okay. No ghosts entering through the front door. Hmm, there's that other room. There's, of course, going to be something that shows up in our room, right? Oh, wait, what? Is that Haruka? That was Haruka, wasn't it? Where was that? Shoot, which room was it? Was it on the first floor? I think so. This was the room, wasn't it? It totally was. Drenched note. There's a wet note left atop the bed. Once the sunset reaches here, the end won't be far off. After that, the mountain will let out a mighty roar and everything will overflow. It will overflow and everyone will end together. It'll be good. It'll be over. Interesting. So we saw in the earlier episodes the sun was setting, right? We explored Mount Hikami. Now the mountain is rumbling, and the overflowing, I'm sure, is referring to the black water at the peak. Since it'll be over, I came to see everyone, so that we can die properly before the end comes. Great. So Haruka was here, even if for just a brief moment. Okay. I guess we'll get back to the cameras then. This is such an interesting gameplay segment. Like when you really think about it, you would not anticipate this type of gameplay in a game like Fatal Frame. They've done a decent job of, of really varying the gameplay from episode to episode. Varying the environments, a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, there's Haruka again. Walking in the hallway, we're literally about to enter. She was right where I'm standing. I think. I wonder if things are happening real time or only during the times we're actually watching the surveillance cameras. Do you know what I mean by that? Like, when we're watching the surveillance camera, whatever paranormal events are happening are taking place. But then as soon as we get up to investigate something, they're kind of like frozen in time to an extent, right? 
Because if not, and things are still happening in real time on the surveillance cameras, we're potentially missing a lot, right? And as one might expect, that makes me a little anxious. I don't think there's anything out here that we can really do much with, right? No, I don't think so. Okay, so we'll continue to watch. What's also notable, though, is the last time we found that note from Haruka, we didn't receive a prompt to get up, right? We just saw that and said, wait, we should go investigate that. And that's what we noticed. Is there anything else in this room? No? Okay. Let's get back to surveillance then. There's some static from Hisoka's room. Miu is not safe. <laughs> Miu has Haruka in her room. And I was like, Miu, and I was like, oh, she's got a visitor. Wait, that's Haruka. <laughs> not good. Bad, bad, bad. Hurry. All right. Let's go check up on Miu. First thing we got to do is get upstairs. The game is like, if you didn't know the layout of this building well before, you definitely will now. That's Yuri's room. She is presumably okay. We haven't actually seen that. Hisoka's room on my right. And then Miyu's room will be over here on my left. Oh, hello there. <laughs> so kind of you to join us, ghost. I'd appreciate if you didn't shut the door next time, though. Oh my, everything seems normal. Maybe it was just static. Yeah, how about not? Hmm. She seems to be having a nightmare, but is otherwise okay. Yeah, I don't know if I buy that one. Now again, I wonder, did I miss out on something by not getting here quickly and quickly enough, or not taking a picture of the door closing, or... I don't know. Did I explore this room? I don't know if I did. I think so. Oh wait, this is just a quicker way to get to the surveillance room. Why is the TV on? Ah yes, the static ETV, the static ETV. Oh, horror uh, staple. There's nothing but static on the screen. I should probably switch the TV off. Oops. Oh, hello there. You do not seem uh, exceptionally friendly. I need a little bit more space. Oh, I guess I'm getting attacked. And I'm dangerously low on health. We'll use an herbal medicine. I don't really have many different lenses, do I? No, I really don't, which is kind of a bummer. Because I don't have that healing lens. I've come to enjoy quite a bit. We'll take a picture while we can. Do some damage. Did we get it? Yes, we got the Fatal Frame Nice. Not that we really did a whole bunch with it, but we did some stuff. Where are you at? Down low or up there? Nice, we got the fatal frame. That's right, I should do my uh, like rapid fire attack, shouldn't I? Oh, you're down there. Can I lock on? Please, thank you. Come on. Aw, oh, man. I missed it again. There we go. Are you dead? Or did I just break free? The the fatal frame window was pretty small there, right? There we go. What? I swear, guys. Okay, so... Oh, come on. So a couple things. I hit square there so I could enter the menu and turn on the herbal or use my herbal medicine. But otherwise, I guess I just need to. I don't know. Like I don't think that window is very uh, feasible for getting the fatal frame. So we're just gonna take a picture of what the heck? <laughs> Come on. 
<laughs> I'm hitting X to dodge and everything. <sighs> alright, alright, whatever. Let's see. Oh, hello there. You are awfully high up there. I'll hit X to dodge, because I apparently missed the, the fatal frame window. Got a good shutter chance in. Where are you at? Down here. Can we get some, uh, Bowie strats going? Come on, back up, back up, back up. Nope, I guess not. Okay. Fatal glance? Nothing special. Alright, not, not my favorite battle, but not the end of the world by any means. I was gonna say, it took an awfully long time to disappear there. It's like, did I miss something? What's going on? Oh, hello there, friend. You're on your way to see someone. Yuri is safe-ish. Miyu is okay-ish. There are quite a few ghosts in that area. I'm curious. I want to go take a look. It's literally right around the corner. <laughs> and of course, now I'm sopping wet <laughs> from that battle, too. Oh, I can actually interact with them. Hello, friends. Oh, hello. You're not dead, are you? No. Okay. I tried to do my, uh, my square attack. Those were some strong shots there. The spirit still has, like, half of its HP, though. Come on. We're backed up against the door now. We got the fatal frame for the other ghost, which is fine for now. Do we take out that other ghost? Yeah, unfortunately. Oh man. Did I dodge? I did. Yeah, we're not gonna get that fatal glance, unfortunately. I thought we'd be able to get a double kill, but alas. Doesn't seem to be the case. It's because one of the ghosts was further away the whole time, I'm pretty sure. Alright. Let's get a fatal frame for the for the finish. Because he's pretty low on HP. I don't want to go for a shutter chance into like the wall or something. Come on. Of course now I'm gonna like take a picture and he's gonna be like, this is a great chance to attack. Alright, come on. Please. Please. Finally. Alright, you are gone. Give me your fatal glance. Alright, so what's also nice is that that actually confirms we can find these ghosts when we look for them. What's interesting though is I haven't found them in the hallways where I expect them. Right? Because theoretically there should be one in the hallway too. But I just don't don't see them. So I don't know, I guess we'll go back to the surveillance cameras and see what we find. But we can interact with the ghosts we find on the cameras. Nothing there. Nothing in our room. <laughs> That's always creepy, when you're like watching a surveillance camera of like the area that you are in and you find something is like behind you and you're only watching it through a camera. It's like, oh man, gotta gotta turn away from the camera real fast. What's going on in the, in the garden over here? Oh, it's one of these. Oh man, that was a bad picture. Oh, hello. 
Darn it. Alright, so we'll do that. Get those spear powers out. You just totally clip through the glass, which is actually honestly quite fine. Oh. Avoid that. We got plenty of pictures in there. I'm gonna take a moment to heal. Really missing that lens now. Where is the ghost? Oh, behind me. Trying to be wary of that curse. Oh. I hit X to dodge. Fatal frame? Nice. Got a pretty good chunk of damage in there. Although it's still got half of its health left. Thank you for the advice that I can actually see the health bar. That sort of like flashing light blue bar at the bottom is the ghost's health bar. Oh man. Alright, but we got the dodge in. And we can probably get a good shutter chance here. And... There we go. I want to make sure I get that in there to dispel that curse. I don't know what I just dodged, but I dodged something. Oh, and I'm, she was still attacking. Got a fatal frame in there. How much health do you have left? Can't be that much. Still a decent amount, though, honestly. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh. All right, we'll use the purifying embers. We'll use them. We'll use them. Fine, fine. If that's how you want it. Oh, you're purple now. That's a change. Are you gonna attack me? Or are you gonna wait for me to photograph you? Then you'll try to attack me. Dodge. Nice. Oh, you're still attacking. All right, we'll take the fatal frame, I guess. You are probably dead now. Yes? Interesting. Okay, so we probably can interact with most of these ghosts we find. I think it's just the hallway ones that have given us trouble so far, in terms of actually finding and interacting with them. Maybe I'm just not looking in the right hallways, but nothing there. So far, so good. Oh, you already... Jesus. She is not in a good spot. The camera in Yuri's room is off. What's going on? I should go check it out. Wait, wait, where? Rui must have woken up. Are you kidding me? So now we're both missing Rui and Yuri is getting attacked by like three ghosts. Oh man, that battle... That battle is going to be a treat. In that tiny, tiny room. Where did Rui go off to? Oh, wait, why are you going to Yuri's room? You couldn't have possibly seen that she was getting attacked. Alright, just what the heck is going on in here? Rui Kagamiya walking along the hallway. Isn't this, like, Watarai's house? Right? Isn't it? I thought it was. Dragged man. Yeah, this is totally Keiji Watarai's house. Why are we here? Hmm. I have no idea. Well, this is rather ominous. Why have we been teleported to Keiji Watarai's house to try to find Rui, of all people? Um, well, we obviously saw where Rui went off to. We have a map, we do. I wonder if it's really worthwhile to explore all these different areas. Probably not to an extent. I'd imagine this is a relatively limited segment of gameplay. Seems like everywhere we don't need to go is going to be, uh, you know, shut by a powerful force or whatever. 
Hmm. A note? Urui's Journal 4. Mr. Hojo is captivated by the woman in that photograph. He's never been good with women, but he's starting to change. And I can't do anything about it. He's changing. I'd like to keep things between us just as they are, the relationship we have now. I like the ambiguity, but he's going to decide sooner or later. I wonder, which way will he choose? A romantic interest in Urui? Is that part of what this is about? I can understand that sentiment, though. You know, I like the ambiguity. Right, nothing's been decided. Doors are open, but not closed in such a way that they're, you know stifling, right? It's that in-between before two really good friends, you know, one of, before one of them admits that, to the other that they like them, right? Oh, there was a ghost over there. Who are you? Shadow in the dark. Okay. Anything of interest in here? Huh? Hmm. This was Keiji Watarai's desk. But we went to the right. Out of curiosity, the door is now unlocked. Wait, when was it locked? Where? Huh? Oh, I do remember being on the other side of this door before. I'm trying to remember... What will we find in here? I don't know. But I expected this to be one of those areas where everything is blocked off if it's not directly driving the plot. But Fatal Frame has surprised me quite a few times in that regard before, right? This is where we started. <laughs> okay. Where I'm surprised by just how much I can actually interact with. That's not directly related to the main focus of the particular drop, right? So anyways, we'll continue over here. I feel like we've sufficiently explored the other areas. How did we even get here? What is going on in that antique shop? Oh, I thought that doll was a, was a person. Or a ghost, rather. Are we about to do some, like, shadow reading or a glance into... Louis? Wait, what? Oh no. So we fell asleep and while we were asleep, Rui got up and left because a ghost dragged her away? Oh man. That window's open. And that girl takes Yuri away? Seriously, then? You had one job! <laughs> now here's Miu. Who gets up in the middle of the night. And she's gonna be pulled away, too. At least we don't see a ghost dragging her away this time.
Wow. Oh! She's currently trying to leave. やっぱり山に戻ります。私を連れて行ってくれますか。無茶を言うな。危険すぎる。そうですか。いろいろとお世話になりました。これ、お借りしてもいいですよね。小塚田さんも探せるかもしれないし。おい、待てよ。じゃあ、行きますね。She's so cold. Her whole demeanor, her way of speaking, is so, so cold. And what's also interesting is she's familiar with the camera obscura. I'm sure, you know, veterans of Fatal Frame probably know why, but but she's familiar with the camera obscura and knows that she needs to bring it with her to Mount Hikami. The question is why, right? Is she so determined to go back? Is she being drawn by some of the shrine maidens there? Is she determined to save Yuri? Doesn't seem like it because she kind of threw that out there in passing. Maybe I'll be able to find Yuri. But is it to continue searching for her mother, which is, I think, why she originally went there? I don't know. We know that a ghost essentially got to her in the middle of the night, right? Anyways, Ren is watching over the sleeping Yuri and Miyu on the surveillance cameras, but he passes out. He has a dream where he's chasing after Rui. When he wakes up, both Yuri and Rui are gone. He finds Miyu getting ready to leave for Mount Hikami, taking Yuri's camera obscura with her. The door shuts behind Miyu, leaving a bewildered Ren behind. Wow. Okay. I wonder... So are we going to play as Miyu next? We are! So we're going to try to find Yuri Kozukata now, as Miyu Hinasaki. That's hilarious. Just a few drops ago, right? As Yuri Kozukata, find Miyu Hinasaki. Now the roles are reversed. So that's going to be pretty exciting. And we know that Yuri's been struggling too. Um, and she's been susceptible to all of the same sort of shadow dealings that the other characters have. I'm I'm eager to see what happens next. But of course, as you guys might expect, that's going to have to be in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. That was definitely a fun little, you know, mix up for the gameplay. I enjoyed it quite a bit. This game is keeping me on my toes. It's, you know, not exceptionally challenging, but it is difficult. You do need to strategize. Um, and it's fun piecing together the story as we get to know the characters more and more as well. And of course, I enjoy seeing it from all these different perspectives too. So, anyways, until the next episode, this is Bib Night Zero, and this mission is complete.